now move on to uh, making number bonds. And we're going to learn how to make number bonds with cubes. If you have cubes at home, you may want to make use of them. If not, you can try to visualize with a picture. Now, how many cubes do we see uh, in the picture, in the slide? You count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, there are all together six cubes there. We can try to put the cubes into two groups. Okay, I've uh, decided that oh, the easiest way to put them into two groups. I didn't say two equal groups. I just say two groups. So I'll take out one of it. Okay, I've take out what, taken out one of it. So how many are there in each group? The yellow one has five now, and the orange has one. So there are two groups. One group has five. The other group has one. Okay, so from the six, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, six. I've taken out and then I've made them into two groups like that. Okay. So we can say that five and one make six, right? Okay. We have five and one make six. Okay. So five, one. They are number bonds of six. Okay, so we can write it in this manner, like that. 6 is made of 5 and 1. Okay, 6 can be split into, this is like split into 5 and 1. Let's take a look at an example. Okay, what numbers make 3? So, let's have 3, 1, 2, Three. Well, what we can do is that we can split the three into a group like that and a group like that. Two groups, okay, and the number bonds will be written like that. Three is split into two and one. So we say that two and one are the number bonds of three. Okay, one and two. Make three. Another example. What numbers make seven? This is quite interesting. Okay, how are you going to split seven? First of all, we can say one and six, right? So we have seven. We have seven. All right. One, if we put it away, one and six make seven. So we can say that seven can be split into one and 6. Okay? Now we also can say that it's 2 and 5, you know. Okay, 7 can be split into 2 and 5. Because 2, if I have 2 and I have 5, I still have 7. See, 2, 5, 5, 6, 7. Okay? Then I can also make another number bond. 7 split into 3 and 4. Right? So this is how I write my number bonds. 7 is 1 and 6. 7 is 2 and 5. 7 is 3 and 4. Okay? So number bonds is written in this manner, the splitting manner. Okay? So long as you remember that number bonds can help you to split the number, that is easy for you. Well, I've explained enough. We'll move on to an exercise in a short while.